I have to be careful not to step on any of them too. Oh, there might there might have been something on the left too. Fuck. Ha <laughs> ha ha! So at long last, you've come to play like late sleeping toddlers. Dimengio and O Chunks. Ah, do you not tire of collecting those worn out, tiresome pure hearts? I am not violent by nature, you know. I'd prefer to settle this peacefully, in fact. Say, for instance, you wish to go back to your world. I could do that for you. We are not interested. Ha 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 ha. So it must be. Shall we begin? Wait, are we doing this again? Ugh, haven't you learned? No matter how often we fight, it will end the same. My my, aren't you plucky? Same fight, same outcome. You are precisely correct. And that is why... Broccoli! Lovely green hat, wouldn't you say? What? Dear O Chugs, stay strong, yet so very dim. Did I say say strong? Dear O Chugs, so strong, yet so very dim. A child could learn his attack patterns. As such, I requested a few sprouts from my acquaintance to live up a touch. I call the boy. Oh, Cabbage. Don't be shy, oh, Cabbage. Introduce yourself. Cabbage! <laughs> Simply adorable. Now remember, kids. Eat your vegetables to grow big. Except in this case, a veggie will eat you. Have fun now. Asparagus. B -b -b boogie. Broccoli. <laughs> Boy. Hey, what in gravy am I doing in here? Huh? And what are you doing in here as well? Oh, I get the picture. You lot want to challenge the new improved old chunks. You got pepper in your pants, I'll give you that. But this time you will get ruined. Uh-oh. Uh me belly's growling like a starving dog. Warrior rule number one. Never fight on an empty stomach. Tis madness. Sorry, but we got to call it a day. Can't go bucking on war. Can't go bucking the warrior rules. Next time, though, you're done. Chunks away. <laughs> Look, the sprout from his head. It's the same as on the florified Kragnans. It looks as though it's nearly dead. However, <laughs> you got a floral sprout. Oh, Chunks dropped this sprout. What happens if you wear it? <laughs> you care to try it on? <laughs> I'm no veggie. Well, perhaps you can put it on later if you need it. It would come in handy. To put it on or take it off, go to the important things. Okay. <laughs> I'm no veggie. I do love my... I th thought the game froze for a second. Mmm, if they could beat that model of O-Chunks, then they are coming along quite nicely. Perhaps they really are the ones I have waited for all this time. <laughs> I should prepare myself as well. So much to do, so precious little time. Yeah, I thought, I thought the game froze there for a second. I wanted to see if I can make it across the room. Oh, they're going in like a lineup. Yeah, see? I noticed something back here. 
A card. Floral Cragnian. A bit. Yeah, it's it's fitting. So then I'll have to. Wait, hang on a second. What if I just. Hang on. What if I just use it? I guess it, I know there's not enough room down there, but maybe they won't expect me now. I'm now one of them. What if Bowser can wear it? Oh my god, it, <laughs> it's on his nose. Really, Bowser? Can't you not fit it in your bushy red hair? Okay, so now... You know, I probably would have made it up there, too. Okay, so now the next room, I can just go across. I'm saving it right here. Right here. <laughs> oh, wait a second. There's a tiny pipe. Yeah. Oh my god, they even jump very fast, too. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> There's so much of me. That was like some sort of a... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the giant Bowsers are so much bigger than me now. Well now I'm their leader. I can now get past with no problem. Here, let's see then. Yeah, boy! Let's go. <laughs> The, the tinier ones are not allowed. Oh, shit. Well, now I think I do remember this one. Um. I think I do remember this. Huh. King Croacus IV. 19, or 1385 to present. Formerly a regent for King Croacus III, he ruled in place of a f the frail child king. After Croacus III's wilting, his service was recognized and he was made king. His stabilizing influence and political savvy made him popular and well known. His recent achievements include In Flora Year 1625, <coughs> he invented a method for mind controlling Kragnans. In Flora year 1626, he spearheaded an initiative to enslave Kragnons and Mas. King Croacus III, 1298 to 1385. King Croacus III was just one when his mother wilted. He became the youngest king ever. <coughs> the young king had a great predil predilection Jesus there, there's even more new words now the young king had a great predilection and talent for poetry and art his talent was evident in works like ice rose a book of poems from his 37th year but he was so afflicted by a terrible disease from the time he was born without ever impacting the affairs of his kingdom he wilted at age 88 the cause of his wilting was never made public. Many suspected a conspiracy. This was never confirmed. King Croacus II, 496 to 1298. King Croacus was the daughter of the great ruler King Croacus I. Croacus II was imprisoned for being critical of the former king's policies, but when he was overthrown by the people, Croacus 
the second was freed and given the throne. Her efforts was to reduce taxes and study diseases made Croacus the second very popular. Eventually, her influence helped erase the scars the Darkening had left. She also compiled a floral sapiens prehistory called the Flictionarian. The book was to be her legacy, as a historic mark of her benevolent influence. Croacus II feared the fight for the throne that might ensue if she bore any heirs, or many heirs. She had but one heir late in her life. The, this earned her the name the White Maiden. And King Coacus the First reign one, year one to four ninety six. The first king of the Flora Kingdom, Croacus the First, is known as the greatest of kings. He united the floral. Si it's weird too, cause all these pictures of these flowers look like women. Didn't know they were males. He united the floral sapiens under a single cause, creating the Flora Kingdom. He made a capital here and established a calendar begun at the kingdom's birth. Heavily armored, he bore deadly thorns and came to be called the Iron Rose. The kingdom's infrastructure and early roads were built by Croatia. Or That's going to be a roll off the tongue now. Croacus the first design. But when his successor, the prince, wilted unexpectedly, so did Croacus the first's spirit. The Flora year 444 marked the start of his reign of fear, the Darkening. Eventually, Croacus I and his foul regime were th overthrown in a sappy coup d'etat. The king was struck down, marking the official end of the Darkening. His wilting words were said to be the Iron Rose shan't wither, but wither he did. Man, this is, this is really some deep stuff here. What the hell? Can I break some of this stuff, though? Nope. Whoa, okay. So there is something. Okay. So that did show something. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, wait a second. Aha! Okay. So it's because of the buttons. So the paint this painting here is black, so this next picture over here needs to be white. Ah. Huh. That's kind of weird, but... Here, let's use Thoro. Doink. Huh. That's actually interesting. Hey, good thing I have Tippy. Or else I had to use a guide. I have to use a guidebook. Oh god. No. Damn you. Actually, I didn't even need to switch this one. This is already blue. Wait, this doesn't even need a floor. Hang on. Okay, never mind. But the other ones didn't have a cracked floor. Alright. Time to wreck some shit up. There we go. Whoosh! Oh, that's right. Bowser can't climb. Shit. <laughs> totally forgot. Like, is there anything else Bowser can't do? Alright, let's go, baby. Oh. Ooh, wee, ooh! Where, oh, where are my pretties? Pr 
pretty, beautiful things. So we bring them to me. Ooh, what is this hideous, clashing thing? Let me guess, Kringkoikus. Ha ha ha! Prepare for world-class much mulching. Yes. Ooh, you! So you must be the intruders I've heard so much about. Well, I will not forgive the great trashening of my beautiful kingdom. No, you! Thus you are warned. Think you can't delta shell as burly as this, pretty boy? Let those cragnants go. Never! Their sturdy bodies make them such fine workers. Exquisite! I need them to dig up more gems so I can build a bejeweled palace. Why, how positively horrid! Release them this instant! Trash is garbage, no matter how you dress it. This world is made for beauty! And if you need some proof, then have a look at this. Kinda figures. It's the pure heart! I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly. You can barely think, hmm? Seems we all seek beauty, so how dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you, we're nothing like you. Your blabber hurts my ears, and your smell is wilting me. I can stand you no longer. I rarely stoop to such things, but I'll destroy you myself. Consider it an honor. Yeesh. Yeah. <laughs> it's got like a mind of its own. Oh, you! Here I come! Yeah, just destroy them. Ugh. Ugh. Wait, was that it? Or it probably just taken to her second form. There we go. <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> Peekaboo, I'm Bowser! Beautiful! Even as I wilt, I am... I am... Beautiful! King Croacus! T Woo! What? Whoa, what did you guys do, huh? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just beat your king's petals. How's it feel, flower face? Hey, shut up. You don't get it at all. King Croacus was awesome. He totally thought of his people first, man. And you, you wilted him. What? What are you talking about? Water, man! I'm talking about water! The Kragnans were polluting our water! Those dudes were tossing trash into the river! We had to drink that crud! That dirty water was what drove our king bonkers, don't you get it? So... then... Oh... Of course I knew it all along! Cragly Ho! Emergency special report from the floral front lines. Environmental pollution drives floral sapiens mad. Whither will they rampage? So the villagers throwing garbage in the river was the reason for this whole thing? Well, I tried to tell those guys, but my thoughts were too far ahead of their time. This played well with green Kragnan crowd. Ratings explode, brah! It's like Crags on Ice meets Baron Von Kragnit <laughs> Craggington. Yes, once my fellow villagers see this, they'll surely realize the error of their ways. Once the words of Flint Cragley reach them, they'll throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure, you know what I mean? You promise not to dirty our water and we'll just chill down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers, Noggins, too, man. 
Sounds like a fine way to keep the peace in the land. Keep those promises, folks. That was rather an unexpected turn. Wailing on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should take this. One of our earliest kings received this to safeguard until the heroes' arrival. Our people have kept that promise for like 1500 years or some crazy like that. I'm sure our will to king here would be stoked that this duty got done. Yeah. Got the next pure heart, boys. <laughs> Look at all our pixels dancing. It's gonna fill up the whole screen with them dancing. Let's go, boys.